Hey there, friends. Today, I'm super excited to guide you through the magic of creating endless golf courses using the procedural level generator plugin. Just by using a handful of simple meshes, which you can grab from Kenny's website, check the link below. You'll see how we can whip up a ton of cool variations in no time. To kick things off, we'll start with a collection. It's pretty straightforward. I've set the socket count to three after some tests to keep things smooth. Our go to mesh is this neat little mesh I've chosen as our default. Its sockets are a breeze to work with. Let's nickname the socket Open for simplicity. Next up, let's bring in some more meshes to our collection. Time to define sockets for these new additions. Oh, and here's a pro tip. Changing their color helps us manage them without any mix-ups. I'll switch socket underscore two to close. And socket underscore one to close underscore half since it's partially blocked. Moving on to another mesh, it's found a socket that's a dead ringer for close underscore half. So let's merge them to keep it tidy. For our next mesh, it spotted a bunch of sockets in the empty space. Easy fix, we'll merge them all into the close socket. This option is perfect as is with all sockets in the right place. Same for this option. For this one, we need to merge socket underscore three to the close socket. As we go further, collection learns how to manage sockets and we need less manual tweaks. Now, for a mesh I crafted myself, the colors are a tad different and the collection didn't recognize the sockets. No worries, I'll show the collection what's what. Oopsie daisy, I duplicated an option by mistake. And hey, it discovered a new close underscore half socket. Looks like our collection is still getting the hang of these close sockets. Looks good. Hmm, looks good again. And another close underscore half was found. Also the same socket again. And for the last option, they are good. Here's something cool. We're adding an empty mesh to our collection. When the generator picks it, voila, we get these neat empty spots on our map, making it even better. I've used a flipped plane for this, so players won't see the flip side, creating our invisible areas. Alrighty, it's testing time. Let's build a map with our collection. You can either use an existing generator class, or if you're feeling adventurous like me, whip up a fresh one. Hey, guess what? I've got a surprise for you. I'm time traveling from the future to share a cool tip that I missed in the video. You know what's super easy? Finding the generator in the place actor menu and dragging it to your level. That's it, you're done. Drag your generator onto the level Set up our new collection, and for a test run, I'll manually set the seed. The map size looks good, so when you're ready, hit initialize, and let's roll out that map. A quick heads up, our open mesh, the first default ground mesh, has identical sockets on all sides. We can boost performance by turning off rotation. The same goes for the empty mesh, our last addition. And there it is, our first map. Not a fan of those open spaces around the edges? Let's tweak our map border to use the close socket tag around the edges. 
just add a C to this list and let's give it another whirl. Much better, right? See that empty spot in the bottom left? That's our empty option at work. I'm thinking we need more of those, so let's up the weight for that option. Lastly, let's set up some distance checks for our corner options to avoid any awkward neighbor situations. Now, let's hit Generate and see our brand new map come to life. Look at that. We've got more empty spaces on our level now. Let's spice things up with some new distance checks to enhance our collection even more. Ready for another go? This layout's looking pretty snazzy, but let's mix it up by changing the seed and see the new landscapes we can conjure up. Here's a quick tip. If you hit Generate Map before Initialize Map, the generator will nudge you to reset those tiles and offer to initialize automatically. Pretty handy, right? I'm digging this layout, but I've got a hunch we can elevate it with a touch of manual finesse. Let's switch to manual mode and reset these four tiles. I'm aiming to bridge this spot to the central area. Hmm, this sharp edge piece might just do the trick. Nope, scratch that. It's a no-go since it seals off the area. Let's swap it out for a better fit. Ah, there we go. It found the only piece that fits perfectly. I've got to say, this level's shaping up to be a masterpiece. Oh, hold up. Almost missed setting the mesh for this tile. There we go. All set. Thanks a ton for joining me in this video. Your feedback fuels these tutorials, so drop a comment on what you'd like to see next. Can't wait to hear your IDs.